I think over the over the stage of my career, I've had probably three really big events, uh, uh, particularly of chains that, I've, that I can think of. Um, going back to being 19 or 20, coming through the ranks at Wigan, hitting every mark that I should have. I was captain of Great Britain Academy at the time, so I was doing really well playing for Wigan's first team, and uh, I got myself in trouble in Wigan Town Centre after the uh, 1998 uh, Grand Final, which resulted in me going to going to jail. That was probably the first bit of adversity that I'd had to deal with in my life, but also in my, in my professional career. Looking back, I don't think I'd probably handle it in the right way. When I come out of jail and decided to play for Wigan again, I wasn't fit, I couldn't play properly, so I ended up leaving the club and going down to London Broncos and, and trying to restart my career from there. And you know, looking back, looking at it properly, I probably spent the next three or four, five years um, in, in no man's land, really, um, for a better way of putting it. And I, and I didn't really have much direction in my career. And it was only sort of 2005, 2006, where I actually started getting back to playing some decent rugby and getting my life back on track, really. There was a couple of big changes at the same period of time, which really knocked me. One was having to leave Warrington Wolves, which I've been at 10, 11 years for. Unfortunately, at that time, that, that actually coincided with the death of my brother-in-law as well. I didn't want to get out of bed in the morning. I was meant to go and join in a new club in Widnes for a new challenge, which I was actually really looking forward to, but I just couldn't do it. The missus was literally trying to drag me out of bed every morning, trying to get me to go train. I just couldn't do it. I'd sit on the rug at night and you know, cry into her arms about my brother-in-law and my sister, obviously, and the four kids they'd left with his, with his previous marriage. So I'm sure my missus was going through a, a terrible time as well to try and deal with me on, on my own. So looking back, what I was going through, I'm not really sure. I'm sure I'd do things differently again. And I, and I almost shut the door to people I did the, the male, egotistical type thing, I'll get through this on my own and uh, I don't need anyone to help off anyone else. So yeah, my advice would to be is to, if you, if you are suffering from these type of problems, to seek out some help because it's certainly out there and um, I'm sure they make things a lot easier to cope with.